Okay, magandang araw sa lahat. So, welcome po sa ating Muntin YouTube channel. So, ang plano natin ay mag-release ng series of videos na mag-uusapan natin ang module ng mga batang mandunong, lalong-lalo na sa PLE uh, grade 8 dahil tayo ay uh, group ng PLE grade 8 dyan sa Aries. Okay, so, sa para sa ating first quarter, ang ating pag-uusapan ay more on uh, bread and pastry production o BPP. Wala na tayo masyadong mahabang intro. Uh, simulan na natin ito. So, unahin natin ang uh, competencies ng bread and pastry. So, ito yung mga dapat na matutunan ng isang bata uh, kapag uh, dumaan sila or kapag uh, tinake nila itong course na ito. Okay? Bread and pastry production. Uh, competency. So, una, Lesson 1, Using of Tools and Bakery Equipment uh, Learning Outcome, Prepare Tools and Equipment for Specific Baking Purposes Next, Performing Measuration and Calculation Familiarize oneself with a table of weights and measures in baking uh, Learning Outcome 2, Apply Basic Mathematical Operations in Calculating Weights and Measurement as a uh, out, learning outcome 3 measure dry and wet ingredients next is lesson 3 maintain tools and equipment learning outcome number 1 check condition of tools and equipment learning outcome number 2 perform basic preventive measure next uh, lesson 4 practice occupational health and safety procedure Learning outcome number one, identify hazards and risks. Uh, learning outcome number two, control hazard and risk. Okay, so sa ating module one, uh, or lesson number one, ang pag-uusapan natin is more on baking tools and equipment. Okay, para mas lalo natin makintindihan ang ating module one, ang um, baking tools and equipment ay nahati or classified into six so, una dyan is the baking wares. Next is the cutting tools. Next, measuring tools. Mixing tools. Um, preparatory tools. And of course, the oven. Pag-usapan natin itong baking wares. Okay, baking wares, these are made of glass or metal containers for butter and dough with various sizes and shapes. So, yung baking wares, yung mga pans, may mga iba't ibang klase ng pans na ginagamit sa pagbibig ng bread and pastry. Okay? So, ano yung iba't ibang klase ng pans? Number one is the tube center pan. A deeper than a round pan with a hollow center. It is removable in which is used to bake chiffon type cakes. So, ito yung klase bang, uh, ito yung uh, tube center pan na yan. Ito, ito yung klase ng uh, chiffon type cake. Yung may parang uh, doon na siya. Or may buta siya sa gitna. Okay? Next is griddle pan. It is used to bake griddles. So, ito yung griddle pan. Ito yung madalas na ginagamit pag uh, nagagawa ng pancakes or griddles. So, ano ba pinagkaiba na? Actually, yung pancakes and griddle ay halos magkapareho lang. Uh, nagkaiba lang sila sa Origin nila kung saan sila mas kilala ang tawag na. For example, yung pancake ay kilala siya sa US and readers sa parang Canada yata. Okay? Ayun lang naman. Next, uh, loaf pan. It is used to bake loaf bread. So, kung may pansin nyo, ito yung pan na pinanggagawa para sa uh, yung kilala natin sa Pinoy as tasty. Or, iba ang tawag naman ay sliced bread. So, ito Loaf pan. Next is the muffin pan. It is it has full form cups of baking for baking muffins and cupcakes. So, at ang muffin pan, madalas yung ginagawa yan, pang cupcake and muffins. So, ano ba pinagkaiba ng cupcake at saka muffin? Ang cupcake po ay more on sweet siya. And then, sa muffin is uh, may halo siyang is either fruits or vegetables. So, medyo nutritious yung muffins. And, cupcakes naman ay more on sweets. Okay? Next. 
the pop uh, pop over pan it is used for baking pop over so katulad medyo kahawig siya ng muffin pan kaso lang pinagkaya ka nilang dalawa itong pop over pan medyo ma lalim at maliit yung lalagyan nga ng ng dough or lagyan ng butter okay so ang purpose nyan para mas para pumutok yung tinapay na ibibake The jelly roll pan, a shallow rectangular pan used for baking rolls. Okay, the tong jelly roll pan based on its name. So, dinagamit sa pang-bake ng mga roll cakes. Kung matasat nyo na bibili sa mga commercial bakery, like for example, Red Ribbon and the Cold Deluxe. So, yung roll, roll bread nara or roll cake. So, yung jelly roll pan yun, dun yun binibake sa jelly roll. Okay. Next, the the pan pan, a round pan with scalloped sides, used for baking elegant and special types of cake. So, kung apa siyono kamukasya na tube center pan, ang pinagkaibalan dalawa is yung center nito ay hindi na na nare remove, unlike sa tube center pan yun kasi natatanggal yung gitna nun. Nito, by design na kagad yung um na perform na cake nga to kapag ito yung ginamit na pan. Okay? Next, the custard cup made of porcelain or glass used for baking individual custard. So, when you say custard, it's a mixture of milk and egg. Madalas siyang, or medyo kilala natin siyang minsan na jelly. Kilala natin ito bilang leche plan. So, yun example ng custard. So, hindi siya binibig ang ginagawa lang sa kanya is binibig uh, ni steam lang para maluto yung custard okay next is the baking sheet so a flat rectangular metal pan used in an oven it is used for baking bread rolls pastries and flat products such as cookies so itong baking sheet medyo familiar siguro familiar tayo rito dahil ito tinag Medyo ito yung popular talaga na, na baking sheet or baking pans na wherein madalas na ginagamit ito yung pag nagbibake ng cookies or even mga pandasal. So dito rin sa baking sheet yung ibinibake. Next is the macaron molders used to hold macarons when it is baking. So kaya, nagka, kaya nagkakaroon ng shape yung side ng macaron ay dahil dito sa kanyang molders na uh, gatong klase. Okay. Next is ah uh, ah uh, tana pala. So our baking words again. Ah uh, tube center pan, griddle pans, loaf pan, muffin pan, pop over pan, jelly roll pan, pan pan, custard cup, baking sheets, and macaroon molders. So I hope medyo uh, nakuha niyo yon. But anyway, pwede niyo na tungi play or review para sila hindi pang maintindihan ang ating mga baking ways. Okay, so okay, so that's our baking tools and equipment, our baking wares. So next up for next is our chopping tools. Okay, number one, knife and chopping board. It is used to cut blades, fruits, nuts, or other ingredients in baking. So ito medyo familiar sa atin ito dahil meron natin nito sa bahay. For sure, So, knife and chopping board, pang putol or pang cut ng mga fruits or nuts or even other ingredients sa baking. And of course, the chopping board or sangkalan. Okay, number two, biscuits and donut cutter. So, these are made of glass or metal containers for butter and dough with various sizes and shapes. So, ito pang shape ng mga more especially mga cookies. So, para magkaroon siya ng iba't ibang shape or even pancakes, pwede rin itong gamitin uh, biscuits and donut cutter. Next is our kitchen shears. It is used to slice rolls and delicate skin as cake cakes. So, and kumapasin nyo sa ating picture ay kamukha siya na bunting. But the difference is that itong kitchen shears, ginagamit ko sa kitchen talaga ang putol ng mga pagkain talaga to. Eh, minsan nga, ginagamit na pang putol sa, sa mga meat. So, 
So, kung mapansin nyo kung naka-avail na kayo, nakabili na kayo ng uh, chicken sa isa sa kinilang um, litsunan is yung uh, chooks to go. So, they are using kitchen shears to cut or to chop yung chicken. Okay, the kitchen shears yun. Next is our paring knife. It is used to pair or cut fruits and vegetables in different sizes. So, paring knife is what it, it is used to pair. You see, pair, uh, pambalat ng mga fruits and vegetables. And ginagamit na rin siyang pang ng uh, fruits and vegetables. Okay? Next is the pastry blender. It is a handheld and a wire which is used to cut fat or shorten it in the preparation of pies, biscuits, and donuts. Okay, so itong pastry blender, ito yung ginagamit na pamputol sa mga mantikilya kasi nga, kung mapansin natin, ay yung mga mantikilya, natutunaw siya sa init at padala siyang nasarap. Kung galing sarap yung mantikilya natin, medyo matigas yun. So, mahirap siyang putulin. So, itong pastry blender, ito yung ginagamit natin para mas maputo natin siyang may ahalo sa ating uh, uh, mixture ng like example, flour and butter lalagyan natin ng butter yung mixture natin so yun, ito yung ginagamit natin pastry blender next is the pastry wheel it has a blade knife used to cut dough when making pastries so kung mapansin nyo sa picture natin ito yung madalas na ginagamit na pangputo, like for example madalas siya sa pizza so ito yung pastry wheel and kung uh, nakapunta na kayo, nakapasok na kayo sa isang bakery, so ito din ginagamit na lang ng pamputol sa mga um, pinapay. Like for example, yung um, tawag na ito, um, pandasal. So ito rin yung ginagamit na lang, pastry wheel. Okay? Next, yun po ang ating uh, cutting tools, knife, and chopping board, biscuits, and donut cutter, kitchen shears, paring knife, pastry blender, and pastry wheel. So, since we're done with the baking pears, cutting tools, so we now move on to our mixing tools. Okay, our number one mixing tool is the mixing bowl. This comes in graduated sizes and has a sloping side used for mixing ingredients. So, kung mapansin niya sa ating picture, itong mixing bowl ay masing graduated May level siya. May mas maliit. Palaki ng, palaki ng palaki. So, ayan. Maraking pinagkaiba ng mixing bowl sa ating casserole. Itong mixing bowl is low pink side. Yung casserole kasi, or yung casserola, ay meron siyang corner na kapag ginamit natin yung mixing ingredients, medyo may rapat kasi meron may stock dun sa may corner ng ating casserola. So, that's why we are using mixing bowl para lahat na ingredients ay mamix ng maigit. Next, the rotary egg beater. So, ito medyo uh, mechanical na rotor, uh, na egg beater or pang beat ng egg or even whipping cream. So, para walang din siya na function sa ating wild whisk, pang beat ng egg or then whipping or whipping cream. Next is our rubber scraper. It is used to remove bits of food inside the bowl. So, they can Kaya ginagamit natin pantanggal sa mga natirang pagkain na naiwan dun sa ating mixing bowl. Alam niyo naman sa baking kapag ka, uh, medyo critical kasi dun yung measurement ng mga ingredients. And kapag kami na naiiwan, syempre it affects the texture, yung consistency ng ating binibake na product. Okay, so yan, rubber's paper. Next is the wooden spoon. It is also called as mixing spoon, which means it comes in various sizes suitable for different types of mixing. So, itong uh, wooden spoon, ito talagang ginagamit natin pang mix na mixture sa ating uh, mixing bowl. So, kaya siya tinawag din na mixing spoon. Next. So, we have here the electric mixer. It is used for different baking procedure for beating, stirring, and blending. So, ito, uh, electric na siya. So, gumagamit siya ng kuryente. 
Actually, meron tayo yung magpaklasin ng electric mixer natin. Ito, yung nga sa picture natin is the stand mixer. So, yan yung inilalapag na lang sa table, sinasaksa, pinuot. And then, magpimix na siya. At depende yun sa settings ninyo kung gano'ng katinis. Or, uh, kung yung gagamitin ninyo yung parang pin niya. So, yung may pinin sa picture ay ang ginamit ay parang wire, wire whisk. Yan pang bit yan ng egg ng whipping cream basta more on liquid yan ang ginagamit and then yung mga spear niya is for dough and mga ganong mixture na dough and butter so that is our mixing tools mixing bowl, rotary egg beater, wireless rubber scraper, wooden spoon and electric mixer so we're done with the baking tools cutting tools Mixing tools. So now we'll move on to our measuring tools. So our first measuring tools is the measure, measuring cup, a graduated cup with fraction one, one half, one fourth, one eight, three fourths, and etc. Marked on each side. It is used to measure dry ingredients and it is made up of plastic or aluminum. So pwede siyang plastic or aluminum, or sometimes or madalas is stainless. So ayan, yung si graduated again, medyo may level siya, may level of na pataas ang pataas in measuring cup, which is used to dry, um, measure to dry ingredients and even wet ingredients, pwede rito sa ating measuring cup. So next is the measuring spoon, it consists of a set of measuring spoon used to measure small quantities of ingredients. So kung medyo pakonti lang naman yung is na kailangan sa ito yung ginagamit uh, measuring spoon. Next is our timer. So it is used in timing big products, the rising of yeast, and to check the doneness of cake. Kasi doneness, kung okay na ba yung cake natin. So ito yung, ito yung nagbibigay or tinatime natin yun kasi nga uh, medyo critical ang pagbibig. So dapat precise lahat the time mixture, yung measuring of ingredients, dapat precise yun, consistent. So that's why we are using timer. So ito medyo, hindi na ito nagagamit minsan kasi nga may cellphone na or yung mga, yung ibang uh, oven ay equipped with a timer already. Okay? So next is our weighing scheme. It is used to measure ingredients in large quantities. So ito na yung ginagamit kapag ka medyo maramihan na yung ginagamit or for commercial baking na kailangan na ng matyo like example, kalahatin sa ako ng, ng flour na yung kailangan to weighing scale na yung ating ginagamit okay so next is the uh, so yun, so our measuring tools again, measuring cups measuring spoons, timer and the weighing scale so we're done with the baking wares, cutting tools mixing measuring tools. Now we move on to our preparatory tools. Ito medyo marami to. Okay, number one is the flour sift sifter. It is used to sift for sifting flour. So bakit ba natin sinisift yung flour? Ano ba yung procedure na po si sift ng flour? Uh, we say sifting flour or sift. Sif. It is uh, the process of separating yung lumps or mga namumuong harina, asukal, Kasi nga sa baking, medyo dapat precise. And yung mga namuo na harina or sugar, it affects the consistency of our baked products. So that's why we, we are using uh, flour sifter. Or even ito, salaan or the strainer. Okay. Next is the grater. It is used to grate cheese and other fresh fruits. So yan, alam naman natin yan. Pang kayod or pang kuskus na cheese or even fruits. Um, ano, ang fruits pa na madalas na ginigrate ay yung lemon. So, pang pa dagdag ng aroma or amoy sa ating mga product. Okay, next is the mortar and pestle. So, it is, it is used to pound or ground ingredients. So, if we need to pound or ground ingredients, so that's why we are using the mortar and the pestle. So, yan, pang dick -dick. Next is our pastry bag, a funnel shaped container of icing or whipped cream. So, the pastry bag natin inilalagay yung uh, 
ka pang pang decorate natin ng uh, na icing or the or even whip 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 cream which is also equipped or meron siyang pastry tip yung na yung parang bakal na nasa dulo na nagigib nagbibigay ng design or na iba't ibang tura na nilalabas sa ating pastry bag so appointed metal or plastic tube connected to the opening of the pastry bag and it's used to form desired designs so ayun nga para pang design to ng ating mga cupcakes, cakes, and etc. The pastry tip and the pastry bag. Next is the pastry brush. It is used in greasing pans or surfaces of the pastry. So, mapasin yung sarating picture na eh. Nihalaw yun yan ng uh, grease or parang medyo maging shiny yung ating pastry products or even in greasing pans. Uh, para hindi dumikit yung tinapay kapag ka binibake na natin. So, yun yung dahilan kung bakit we need to grease the pans. Next is the rolling pin. It is used to flatten or roll the dough. So, medyo familiar ata tayo rito. Uh, rolling pin, pang flat yan ng dough. So, ayan po. Next, spatula. So, it is used to remove muffins, cookies, from pans. Large spatula is for use. Uh, is used for icing and toasting cakes. Flexible blade is used in various purposes. So, ito is spatula. Uh, we use this in removing uh, cookies sa ating pans or even pang flatten na icing sa ating mga cakes or pang leveling. So, ito, spatula. Next is the strainer. So, kotod na rin ng flour sifter. It is used to strain or sift dry ingredients. So, pang sift din ito ng flour or even sugar. So, yun. Yeah. Next is the utility tray. It is used to hold ingredients together. So, dito natin inilalagay lahat ng ingredients natin uh, para isang bitbitan lang natin o isang kuwaan lang para mabilis tayo makapagit eh. Okay? So, our cooling rack, it is used to allow the better circul air circulation around the cooling food. So, kung pinapalabig natin, pinapalabig natin, hindi natin siya nilalagay. So, madalas din nagamit sa mga commercial baking na talaga at ang cooling rack. Next is our pastry cloth. It is usually made of durable cotton canvas. It makes an excellent work surface for rolling out pie crust, uh, biscuits, cookies, and other dough. So, ito. Um, para hindi siya dumikit sa ating mga mesa. So, we are using pastry cloth. So, that is our preparatory tools. The flour sifter, grater, mortar and pestle, pastry bag, pastry brush, pastry pit, rolling pins, patula, strainer, utility tray, pulling rack, and the pastry cloth. Okay, that's our... Um, Preparatory tools and now, lastly but not least, the oven. So, what about oven? It is used for cooking, baking, heating, and drying, and which food is heated usually by hot air. So, to say bake kasi hindi siya direct uh, sa fire niluluto, more on circulation of hot air. So, yun yung nagluluto sa ating mga product or baked products. So, ano yung mga ipang klaseng ng oven? Number one is deck oven, a type of oven that is frequently used for commercial bread baking, also called as a stack oven. So, kung mapasin sa picture natin, ayan, meron siyang mga deck or, le or may mga sa taas, may leveling ng kanyang uh, lalagyan ng mga ibibake na products. Okay. Next one is the mechanical oven. A oven in which this food is in motion while it bakes. So commonly used to mechanical oven sa pag nagurus na chicken. So kadaot nga sinabi mo kanina yung sa um uh, chooks to go. Ayan gimugan sa la na mechanical oven. In which yung chicken ay pinapaikot habang inuluto. Okay. So ayan. Next is our rack oven, a large oven in, in to which entire racks of full of sheet pans can be built for baking. So ito medyo malaki yan na talaga itong rack oven. Kasi yung buong rack, 
or ayan na, na may kulong pwede na ipasok doon ng buod sa oven na yun okay that's why it is called rack oven and lastly our convection oven contains fans that circulate the air and distribute the heat rapidly throughout the interior so madalas ang tawag dito ay turbo broiler so ayan na convection oven So again, our oven, light oven, mechanical oven, black oven, and the convention oven. So again, our baking tools and equipment are classified into six. Baking wares, cutting tools, mixing tools, measuring tools, preparatory tools, and of course, oven. So that's it for our today's video. So sana natulungan namin, natulungan ko kayo na masara niyong maintindihan ang inyong lesson for this week. So I hope uh, we'll see you next week for another, another video containing um, lesson, video lessons na maaaring makatulong sa inyo. Thank you. So kung sa tingin nyo ay nakatulong yung video sa inyo, and be subscribe po sa ating YouTube channel and then share it para makatulong din tayo sa iba kung natuto ka na uh, nakatulong pa pa so share the love and peace you